just looking at the points third through about ninth place still up for grabs that can make things extremely interesting over the next few weeks all right lineup for heat number one is going to be michael whiting and david garman on the front row jim johnson and zach bache on the second row blake mosley will be on the third row if he takes to the grid he did not qualify <laughs> and apparently Kevin Martin and Jim Johnson are having words uh, because Jim Johnson can't read and Kevin Martin is in fact running a loud raps paint scheme tonight, which we all knew already, but it does not look like Blake Mosley will be gritting for this one. So heat number one will just be Michael Whiting, David Garman, Jim Johnson, and Zach Bache. as the cars roll off pit road and let's watch and see if Garmy has any shenanigans on the pace laps hey good evening Craig One more time around, and they will go green flag racing for heat number one. No Garmy shenanigans during the pace laps so far tonight. Might have to talk to him about that. Pace truck is in. Heat number one getting ready. Green flag in the air. Michael Whiting in the lead on the bottom. David Garman up high trying to take the position. Can't quite get it yet, but we'll see that top line really come in here in a little bit. But right now, as long as that bottom line is working, Michael Whiting definitely has an advantage here. Michael Whiting securely in the lead, but here comes Garmin back to the outside. Zach Bache now up to third. And he is charging forward. Fastest lap so far has been laid down by Michael Whiting. Last time by. Zach Bache up on the high side, trying to gain a little bit of ground on Garmin and Whiting. Michael Whiting not giving up an inch of that bottom line, sticking the nose right down there by the wall. And Garmin's starting to build up some momentum up top. And it looked like they might have tapped there on the back straightaway. Everybody keeps going the right way. And Michael Whiting maintains the lead. Zach Bache now losing a little bit of ground. Jim Johnson falling back a little bit. It may come down to a two-horse race as Garmin now has a bit of a run on the high side. Michael Whiting still holding him off for the moment. Off turn two, though. They are side by side down into turn three. Off turn four. White flag in the air for Michael Whiting. Can he hold Garmin off for one more lap? Garmin gets a huge run up off two. Will it be enough? Into turn three they go. Off turn four. It is Garmin at the line. Michael Whiting comes home second. Zach Bache is third. And Jim Johnson comes home fourth. All right. Heat number two will be Skylar Massey and Justin Glover. Uh, DJ Kenner and Patrick Coluccio on the second row. So it looks like we'll end up with three heats tonight. And hopefully by the by Wednesday night they will have uh, updated the nickname for Justin Glover so his name actually pops up as Justin 44 Glover considering the rule will be named <laughs> after him <laughs> All 
All right, Skyler Massey going to lead him down. Best start of the season so far. Can he capitalize on this, win the heat, and go out there and put himself in position to win the race tonight? I do believe this is where Justin Glover actually got his first heat win was here at Eldora. I'm trying to remember if that was for sure, but it seems like he got his first heat win here at Eldora. Might be able to get his first dirt win here at Eldora tonight. And don't forget the Outlaws are recruiting for their asphalt series, both road and oval asphalt for Tuesday and Thursday nights. Pace truck about to drop off. Green flag in the air for heat number two. Skyler Massey down and away. Gets a good jump on the field. Justin Glover, though, making a big run up top. And now Justin Glover to the outside. Can he get the position? Not enough yet. He is carrying a ton of momentum, and the Iceman is right behind him. DJ Kenner is coming, but Patrick Coluccio down on the bottom, and you heard it in pre-race. If Patrick and Justin start working together, anything could happen. Looks like DJ Kenner had an incident. Looks like something happened with Skylar Massey just before that. Let's see. Oh, it looks like Justin just drifted up in the middle of the corner, broke loose, and that is where everything started. Craig Osborne saying he is picking Justin Glover for the win tonight. Hopefully he can pull it off and get that first dirt win here tonight. He's been so close on so many occasions. Excuse me. All right, it's going to be Massey up front, Glover in second, Patrick Coluccio in third, and DJ Kenner in fourth. They are lined up waiting for the pace car to drop off here. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. Heat number two back underway. Justin Glover gets a good jump up top. Skylar Massey does not get away this time. And Justin Glover had the nose ahead coming off turn two. Skylar Massey still fighting back on the bottom, but it is Justin Glover to the lead for heat number two. Skylar not giving an inch, fighting back every single lap. Now everybody moves up to the high side, and Skylar Massey under attack. DJ Kenner dropping to the bottom. Patrick Coluccio now up to third. And Justin Glover, three laps to go. And starting to open up a bit of a gap up front. But last time by, Patrick Coluccio was the fastest car on track. Up on the high side, trying to get anything he can. Looking to the outside of Skylar Massey. They almost get together. Coluccio has to check up. Coluccio's got another run. White flag in the air for Justin Glover. Skylar Massey in second. Still managing to hold off DJ Kenner and Coluccio. But coming to the checker flag, it'll be Justin Glover winning in heat number two. Heat number three. <laughs> Will be Cody Olson and Kevin Martin on the front row. Graham Nucky and 
Jonathan Oropalo on the second row. And still a bit weirded out by Graham Nucky driving that car and not his usual yellow and green. You see his crew over there is even still in their yellow and green outfits, but no yellow and green car is just weird. Cody Olson, the points leader, up front with Kevin Martin. Cody Olson's points lead <laughs> coming into the night, 40 points over second place, Jim Johnson. The real battles at the end of this season are going to be probably third through about eighth place. There's only a 41-point gap there and no more than 10 points between any two drivers. The last few weeks of this season is going to get very exciting. And, buddy, no, I have not seen Isaac yet. I thought he was around in discord before the race but pace truck is in green flag is in the air and Cody Olson to the lead Kevin Martin on the high side trying to stay with him Graham Nucky on the bottom trying to make something happen and Jonathan or Apollo looking low on Nucky meanwhile up front Kevin Martin just trying to stay with Cody Olson and the battle is side by side for third place. They're definitely going to be some close racing once they get into the feature. Cody Olson starting to open up a bit of a lead now. Half a second over Kevin Martin. Meanwhile, Graham Nucky and Jonathan Oropalo just side by side almost all the way around the track. And Graham Nucky has been having a series of really good runs late in the season, looking to see if he can capitalize on that here late in the season. Last time by Kevin Martin actually gained a little bit of ground on Cody Olson. And just as soon as Kevin gains a little ground, Cody Olson just seems to take off a little bit. And at the line, it's two to go. Kevin Martin just trying anything he can. He's changed up lines a couple of different times. Just can't get anything. Or Apollo has an incident, but white flag in the air. Coming off turn four, it will be Cody Olson for the win. Kevin Martin's going to come home second. Graham Nucky comes home third. Jonathan Oropalo finishing fourth. <laughs> and apparently, Skyler and Justin will be having a discussion. <laughs> That's a tough call. Um, Craig Cody Olson's been pretty dominant, but I I gotta say I think this is gonna be Justin Glover's race. As they pull out to warm up, just a minute and a half of practice left. Then we go to the heat. Don't forget. Immediately following this race, we will have the 358 mods from Eldora. And more great side-by-side -side racing. And lo and behold, Graham Nucky had the fastest lap there for a couple of laps. David Garman slipped by last time, but we'll see if Graham Nucky can get back up on top. Could this be the Australian's night to win?
Craig is saying his pick is going to be in Cody. That is definitely a safe pick here tonight. Cody did say in pre-race he thought he might be able to take it easy now that he was not aware of how big his points lead actually was until I told him. So he said, hey, he could take it easy for the rest of the season. He might be uh, able to lock it in with a good finish here tonight. If he wins tonight, he'll just extend that points lead even more. All right, warm-up is over, and it's time to go racing. Up front will be Michael Whiting and Cody Olsen. Justin Glover and David Garman on the second row. Skyler Massey, Kevin Martin on the third row. Zach Bash, DJ Kenner on the fourth row, Graham Nucky and Jim Johnson rounding out the top ten. Then it'll be Patrick Coluccio and Jonathan Apollo, 11th and 12th. 13th uh, was to be Blake Mosley. He has not gridded tonight. He will not uh, be on track. All right, pacing around one more time. Drop into the chat. Let us know who you're cheering for tonight. Make sure you're cheering them on loud. Say hi. Just say something. We could bring up the wrestling argument that was going on last night, but that that was starting to get out of hand, so. <laughs> All right, Pace Truck is in. Michael Whiting and Cody Olsen, green flag in the air. I just noticed Michael Whiting's wheels. I really like those, by the way. Note to self. <laughs> Cody Olsen on the high side. Back through the field. We've got cars starting to make their way forward. DJ Kenner's already picked up a spot. Jim Johnson picking up spots. They're three wide in some places. Graham Nucky starting to work his way forward. Meanwhile, Cody Olsen and Michael Whiting have not stopped battling, but into that picture comes David Garman up high. Right behind him, Skylar Massey and Justin Glover. And us. Kevin Martin snapped loose a little bit out of two, and I believe it's DJ Kenner in the wall. Let's see what happened to DJ. I know we saw Kevin Martin have a little struggle off turn two. Let's see what happened to DJ. DJ just got too high on corner entry and ended up riding down the wall a little ways. And it looks like he could not get the car flipped over, so he had to tow to pit road. <laughs> yeah, Craig, uh, now that Cody's up front, there is no telling what could happen. Cody Olsen up front, Michael Whiting in second, David Garman third, Justin Glover in fourth, Kevin Martin in fifth, Skylar Massey in sixth, Zach Bash is seventh, Jim Johnson up to eighth after starting in tenth, Graham Nucky in ninth, and Patrick Coluccio in tenth, Jonathan Oropalo in eleventh, and DJ Kenner in twelfth on pit road. Looks like Cody is choosing to start on the high side this time. I like those wheels on Whiting's car, but they would not match my paint scheme. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. 
Off into turn one they go. Michael Whiting on the bottom. That's where he has been fastest all night. Cody Olson has been fast down there too. Hasn't run much of the high line. They almost get together. Cody Olson already clear of Michael Whiting in one lap. Now Justin Glover making his way forward. A lot of activity right behind him as Garmy trying to get around Skylar Massey. Jonathan Oropalo starting to make his way forward from the middle of the track. We've got one up in the wall. I believe that was Patrick Coluccio up in the wall a moment ago. Caution is out again. Looks like Jim Johnson involved. Jim comes up. Oh, Jonathan Oropalo got loose, came down, and just clipped the uh, rear of Jim Johnson sending him into the wall. Cody Olson was starting to open up a bit of a lead here. We'll see if he can run away with it again. Does Justin Glover, who will now start in second, have anything for Cody Olson here tonight? Michael Whiting in third, David Garman back there in fourth. And while we're used to seeing David Garman up front in the bigger cars, he says he is not great in the sprints. Skyler Massey currently in fifth, Kevin Martin sixth, Zach Bash in seventh. Cody Olson choosing to start on the high side yet again. Looks like he's got the high side figured out. Can Justin Glover do anything with him on the bottom here as the pace car drops off? Green flag back in the air. Cody Olson gets a great jump on the restart. Garmin staying right in his tire tracks. Justin Glover is going to lose second spot. Justin drifts up and catches Kevin Martin. We'll have another caution. Off turn two, just drifts up a little bit, trying to settle in for the turn, catches Kevin Martin, catches Patrick Coluccio, Zach Bache caught in there as well. And now it'll be Cody Olson and David Garman at the front this time. DJ Kenner getting back out on track, he is one lap down currently. Jim Johnson one lap down currently. One or both of them will get a lap back here. Several cars on pay road that were involved in that incident getting some repairs. Looks like DJ Kenner will be receiving the uh, wave around this time. Now can the Iceman get back up to the front? Pace truck about to drop off as they come through three and four. They'll go green again. Look for a long green flag run any time where it separates out the field. Here we go. Green flag in the air. And Graham Nucky has a rough start and causes the outside line to check up just a little bit. Meanwhile, Cody Olson, David Garman through one and two. Cody Olson to the lead. Garmin goes back to the high side. Michael Whiting's going to follow him. Jonathan or Apollo on the bottom has picked up eight spots. Started dead last on the field. He is now in fourth and charging forward. But here comes the Australian, Graham Nucky. We've said Graham's night will be one night before the end of this season. We will see him win. Could tonight be the night? 
Started in ninth, currently running in fifth. Or Apollo has his hands full of the Australian in the five car. Graham Nucky and Graham has Patrick Coluccio who has recovered from being in every incident thus far. Now Coluccio to the bottom. They touch briefly. Graham Nucky into the wall. That might be the caution is out for Graham Nucky. Coluccio just drifts up as he is trying to come down and he couldn't get it right. It ends up on his side. Had to be towed to pit road. He will lose a lap here. Michael Whiting currently in second has been in the top three all night. Hasn't had anything for Cody Olsen yet, but as this track slicks off, Michael Whiting is one of those guys that spends a ton of time practicing after the track slicks off, and that could make all the difference in the world here. And remember, as they're pacing, they're working that track in as well. And while the sprints don't necessarily loose slick up the track as fast as the big or the 358s we'll see later they still slick it up and they are definitely affected by it as you heard a couple drivers say in pre-race and hey later tonight i will post the entire broadcast schedule for the upcoming week lot of new and exciting stuff coming including some recruitment races some road course races and a lot more you can hear all about it on the podcast as well which was posted today pace truck is in green flag back in the air cody olsen to the outside garmin already looking to the bottom they're three wide through one and two garmin slips by michael whiting now coluccio looking on the high side Coluccio looking to the high side. Michael Whiting appears to be going backwards. Not sure what happened. They were briefly four wide. And here comes Coluccio. And there goes Coluccio. He gets a little bit of the wall. Michael Whiting back into third down. Skyler Massey up. And Coluccio is in the wall. We may have a caution in a moment. But Skyler Massey, there is the caution. All right, let's see if we can. Get a look at what happened to Patrick Coluccio here. As he comes off turn two, it looks like him and Oropalo just touched. And Zach Bache was right there, gets caught in it. And it looked like DJ Kinner might have caught a piece of that as well. Cody Olson still out front. David Garman in second. Michael Whiting in third. Skyler Massey in fourth. Kevin Martin in fifth. DJ Kinner now in DJ Kenner being scored in seventh, Jim Johnson in sixth, Justin Glover in eighth, Patrick Coluccio in ninth, Jonathan Oropalo tenth, and Zach Bache in eleventh. Graham Nucky back to the lead lap in twelfth. Can Graham make his way to the front again? You know, in all honesty, I want Graham to win one for one reason only. I want to hear him celebrate after the race. I think it would be hilarious. Just talking to Graham is always a laugh. So, would love to see uh, see what his reaction would be after a win. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. They'll have 15 to go at the line. And Garmin stays with Cody this time. 
Garmin takes to the lead here. Cody's going to have the momentum on the high side, though. Off turn two. They're neck and neck down into turn three. And Cody Olsen gets the run on the high side. Michael Whiting picking up a ton of momentum. And here comes Skyler the Dude Massey on the bottom. Skyler Massey making his way up to third, trying to run down David Garman now. Cody Olsen already got a half of a second lead. Garman about to have his hands full with Massey. Jim Johnson now up to fourth. Iceman back into fifth. Justin Glover in sixth, fighting his way back towards the front. Michael Whiting has dropped all the way to seventh. Jonathan Oropalo is in eighth. And the Australian Graham Nucky now back up into ninth. Cody Olsen has 11 laps to go. And now a 1.6 second lead as Skylar Massey taking second place. Jim Johnson to third. David Garman gets fourth. David Garman looks like he is struggling up on the high side. Several cars going by now. Michael Whiting now back up to fourth. Cody Olsen still continuing to extend that lead, but Skylar Massey trying to run him down here. Jim Johnson currently in third. Michael Whiting. Oh, we've got an accident here. Justin Glover and Michael Whiting involved. Caution is out. Let's see if we can see what happened between Michael Whiting and Justin Glover here. It's Michael gets a little bit loose. Justin just drifted up, caught the back tire, and turned. And Michael Whiting got turned around there. David Garman is on pit road. Michael Whiting is on pit road. All right, Cody Olson in the lead. Skyler Massey second. Jim Johnson third. Justin Glover now in fourth. DJ Kenner in fifth. Jonathan Oropalo in sixth. Kevin Martin in seventh. Patrick Coluccio eighth. Ninth is Zach Bash. Graham Nucky in tenth. David Garman is eleventh. And Michael Whiting is in twelfth. Weird seeing Garman that far back. But it is no surprise to see Cody Olson at the front tonight. Lights are out on the pace car. Pace truck is in. Cody Olson's going to start this way low. Green flag back in the air. Eight to go for Cody Olson. Surprised to see Cody starting so low. He's making sure nobody got the run on the bottom, but wasn't worried about protecting the top, apparently. Skyler Massey in second, trying to find any way around Cody. Justin Glover now to third. And DJ Kenner in fourth, but he has got a back bumper full of Jim Johnson. We've got Kevin Martin on the high side coming forward. Skyler Massey now eight tenths of a second behind Cody Olson, but he has a one and a half second lead over Justin Glover, but that gap is closing quickly. Five laps to go. DJ Kenner on a charge. Oh, DJ drifts up and catches Justin. Justin catches Kevin and David Gorman. Caution is out. And I would bet money Justin Glover right about now is getting a 4-4. Or creating another 4-4. Or whatever. <laughs> See if we can get another look at that incident. And, oh, they were, Kenner was coming up, Justin was going down, they met in the middle.
Garmin back on pay road for repairs. Do believe he is the only car to hit pit road this time. Cody Olsen still maintaining the lead. Skyler Massey in second. DJ Kenner to third. Kevin Martin in fourth. Jim Johnson in fifth. Jonathan Oropalo up to sixth. Patrick Coluccio up to seventh. Graham Nucky in eighth. Michael Whiting in ninth. Zach Bache is tenth. David Garman in eleventh. It was bound to happen. They were getting a bit wild out there. And now as the pace car goes in, I expect it again. Green flag back in the air. Cody Olsen gets another good start, but Skyler Massey sticks with him. Massey to the bottom. Can Skyler Massey take the position here? Who's it going to be at the line? Is Skyler Massey ahead three laps to go? Cody Olsen just barely ahead at the line. Can Skyler make something happen here? No, Cody Olsen is shot off turn two. Now DJ Kenner into third. Kevin Martin to fourth. Jim Johnson in fifth. Here comes Jonathan Oropalo, who started 12th up to sixth. And DJ Kenner starting in eighth up to third, managing to pick up a ton of positions here. Patrick Coluccio, another one that's come forward as the white flag comes out for Cody Olson. Through turn and across the line, Cody Olson for the win. Skyler Massey comes home second. DJ, the Iceman Kenner, finishes third. What a race! Hey, Skyler, this is Doug. You got me? What's going on, buddy? Hey, man. Heck of a run there at the end. It looked like you might actually uh, take the win. Yeah, we were. I was close that last couple laps on that restart, but like I just told Cody, I mean, he's, he's incredible in these cars, and he was finding moisture up top that I don't know that anybody else could find. So, I mean, kudos to him. Hell of a race. I'm, I'm more than thrilled with second in this league. There's a ton of fast guys. <laughs> um, a lot, little bit of un, unforeseen, unfortunate circumstances at the beginning of the night, but you know we we pulled through and made something happen out of it. Well, that is all that matters, and it looks like you'll close the gap on Kevin Martin and Zach Bache tonight in the points as well. So a good night overall. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping to have a strong push the last few weeks of points here. That way, I can at least bring home a, a top five, top three would be great, but. I don't really see that happening. Uh, there's not very many tracks left, and the tracks that are left are not my uh, my forte. So, <laughs> Well, good luck, buddy. Heck of a run tonight, man. Thanks, Doug. All right, let's see if we can talk to our winner. Hey, Cody, this is Doug. You got me? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I guess you don't have to worry about losing any points tonight, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> You definitely extended your points lead, but heck of a run there. Were you worried on that last restart? Skyler started to uh, pull a run on you. Oh, no, I wasn't I wasn't too worried. I know that uh, second to last lap there, I was kind of jumped the cushion, and I almost put myself up into the wall and ended my own night there with like two to go. <laughs> that would have been bad after being so dominant tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. Thank God uh, we got that 40-point cushion. <laughs> well, you definitely do, and I'd imagine after tonight that cushion's a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, put her in cruise control for the rest of the season and just have some fun with these guys. All right, man. Well, congratulations, and good luck for the rest of the season, buddy. Yeah, thank you, Doug. I appreciate it, man. 
All right, Cody Olson, another win, extending his points lead here tonight. Now stick around. We do have the 358 mods coming up momentarily. You don't want to miss that same track. Different car. They'll put the 305s up. They'll unload those 358s, and we'll see these guys go to town. Be right back.